Karibu ni tena wapenzi wa channel yetu ya Elimika sasa na wapenzi wa lugha adhimu ya Kiswahili. Leo tutaendelea na somo la 49. So today we proceed with the 49 9th lesson. Eh, misamiati ya nyumbani, home vocabulary. Yes, misamiati ya nyumbani. So, let's start. Nyumba 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 means house Sebule 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 means sitting room or dining room You see, in most cases According to the cultural setting of the Swahili uh, Most of the Swahili had no sitting room and a dining room Dining room, room was just used as sitting room, so don't be scared or don't wonder if I say sebule means sitting room, at the same time means dining, dining room, you see, yeah, cho, cho, cho means toilet, chumba chakulala, chumba chakulala, chumba chakulala means sleeping room. Sahani, sahani, sahani means plate. Sifuria, sifuria, sifuria means pot. Chungu, chungu, chungu also means pot. You see, in English, sifuria and the chungu we call them pot, but in Kiswahili, they are called differently. You see. Yes, in, in Kiswahili chungu are those pots that are made from the from the sand, eh? I know from the from the soil, eh? but sifuri are those which are made from the copper. You see, yeah, kijiko, kijiko, kijiko means spoon. We proceed. Uma, uma. Uma means fork. Kisu. Kisu. Kisu means knife. Mwiko. Mwiko. Mwiko means cooking object. You see, in the, in the African or Swahili setting, they cook by using a certain object that is made from the, from the, from the tree or made from, uh, um, the material are made from the timber or, or the tree. So those are the objects that, that are used for cooking. So that is called muiko. Hmm? Jiko. Jiko. Jiko means kitchen. Eh? Jiko or sometimes sigiri. Eh? Sigiri means cooker. Eh? Sigiri means cooker. But sometimes others also refer the cooker as jiko. So you don't be scared. Sometimes they are used interchangeably. Jiko or sigiri means kuka. Yes. Mka. Mka. Mka means chako. Umeme. Umeme. Umeme means electricity. Mafuta ya ta. Mafuta ya ta. Mafuta ya ta means kerosene. Jiko la mafuta ya ta. Jiko la mafuta ya ta. Jiko la mafuta ya ta means kerosene kuka. Yes. Proceed guys. We have jiko la mka. Jiko la mka means chako kuka. Jiko la gesi. Jiko la gesi. Jiko la gesi means gas kuka. Meza, meza, meza means table. Kiti, kiti, kiti means chair. Kitanda, kitanda, kitanda means bed. Godoro, godoro, godoro means mattress. Shuka, shuka, shuka means bed sheet or bed sheets. Uh, they are always if they are in singular bed sheet, shuka, and if they are in plural shuka. Bati, bati, bati means iron sheet. Pa, pa, pa means roof. 
dirisha 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 means window yes we proceed mlango 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 means door sakafu 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 means floor chakula 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 means food nguo 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 means clothes ndo 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 means bucket maj 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 means water kamba 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 means cord so those are some of the uh, home objects mm -hmm. thank you so much god bless you meet you in the next lesson goodbye